ladies and gentlemen, this is Shawman247, back play more Back to the Future, the game. In the last video, we needed to get some alcohol in order to power up Emmett's rocket power drill in order to rescue Doc. But, but, um, uh, when we try to get some of that alcohol, um, well... Edna came, Strickland came in, and she basically took the, um, last two cart, carts, um, uh, or something like that. The last two alcohol canisters, so yeah, let's just leave it at that. And in this video, we're gonna try and find out how to, um, uh, get that, that alcohol back from her. Emmett. Yes? But, um, uh, we'll, we'll talk to Emmett here for a little bit. Oh, that's... Interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. <laughs> yeah, good job, Emmett. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort hmm. of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. Yep. That might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. Mm -hmm. I'll keep cogitating. Anyway, after talking to Emmett, what, can we speak to this guy now? I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Okay, he just still just says the same thing. What about, um, uh, the soup? <laughs> that soup sucks! Uh, it sucks! Excuse me. You talking to me? So this place hmm. used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean, used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not-so-well-to-do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Gee, very specific. Mind if I look around a bit? No. <laughs> I'm sorry for those of you that um, uh, wish I could just make progress already, but... Um, uh, I actually in these types of games just to sit around and interact with everything and see what happens. What happens if we hit the pipe again? Is it just gonna lower everything? No? A counter flap? He's gonna pull the gun on us. Hey, where do you think you're going? The kitchen? The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. <laughs> okay, he's just gonna pull that gun out on us again. <laughs> really lovely. Okay, let's just exit then, with Emmett in hand. Okay, now we'll actually try making some progress. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, my game screen, the game just froze up. Uh, hopefully it doesn't crash right here. There we go. Alright. Now let's talk. go talk to Edna. It feels so good to finally run in this game. I tell ya. Nice bike. Puffy? Puffy? I'm not puffy. I'm passionate. Passionate about justice, <laughs> safety, law, and order. Uh, never mind. That was the brand of bike. <laughs> she da well, I guess we're too far into the future for her to get that one. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. <laughs> the meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Uh, Stay Sober Society? Stay Sober Society. You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Uh, you make soup they deliveries? Soup deliveries. It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Uh, I can help. I can help you deliver soup. I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The um Mario Brothers. 
<laughs> yes, you do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Hmm, okay. Well, I know a charity that needs a soup fact, delivery. I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? Uh, the Stay Sober Society, Stay of sober course. Society. Yes, we do generally provide refreshments for the Stay Sober Society, but I'm afraid they may not be able to meet tonight. They haven't got a meeting space. Hmm. Well, then I know where they can meet, probably. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? Uh, not the park, not the police station. Speakeasy doesn't sound good. So maybe, how about the Brown Residence? I'm sure Emmett would be fine with the that. Brown Residence? You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett. And he's told me the judge would love to lend his place up for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Ah, that's perfect, then. Well, sorry about I'm Einstein. Sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good. Now let's see if you know your <laughs> multiplication tables. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got a book. Einstein is called Einstein for a reason, after all. How about we go talk to Emmett real quick? Uh, nah, actually we can't. Okay, that's not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to talk to Edna again. <laughs> I'm getting things mixed up here. Jeez. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the state. Blah blah blah. Yeah. There's a charity that needs a soup delivery. I tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit from my soup cycle? Uh, the rest home, I think. The rest home. No, it's way past their bedtime. All right, you that's to not it either. Charities is running low. Does somebody need? Okay, how about we try? The orphanage? No, they've already got all the soup they can handle. You asked me to. Okay, now let's try <laughs> the asylum. Insane asylum. No, too much soup makes them nervous. You asked me to tell you. Does somebody? Okay, There's stay sober. sober. Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown right. Estate. Right. There we go. Provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Wait there! Michael! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house! What do we know about these people? He's got a point. <laughs> well, they're pretty well behaved! They're really polite. We don't know that! They're friendly! A bunch of really great guys! We don't know that! But, most importantly, they're sober! They're sober! It says so right in the name! <laughs> well... Okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. But don't worry, they'll be quiet. be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. But think of the it's children, the man! Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no. Alright, fine. Forget it then. Jeez. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. 
We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! <laughs> I knew that, get him. <laughs> you will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna <laughs> Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh. Um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. Ah, uh, Emmett! Huh? <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. You worry too much, Emmett. Sure that feeling is bad, Emmett? Well, you served the subpoena and got the barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Well, alright! That sounds great! We'll go to Emmett's lab, we'll build that rocket Stop. trail, and... I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Time doesn't wait! Especially for our good friend Doc here. Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Hey, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Hmm. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh, is there gonna be a test on this? Uh... <laughs> Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You attend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! Attend to the what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. But... Uh, coming, father! We didn't even hear his father calling that time! You father me, child! This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel! Hmm. Anyway, this is like a little bit of a minigame here. Basically, Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? <laughs> Basically, we're supposed to manage these four different things going on in here. And usually, we can tell what fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes. Uh, okay. Basically, through Emmett's arguments, we can figure out what to do, actually. Usually, if you have the subtitles on, the word that's in all caps is what you should do. Now twist the valve there. Great, we're about a quarter of the way home. Emmett, get back here! So yeah. You are going to find out. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Uh, where's the shock? Shock, shock. There we go. Electrical crank. Because he says shock, that means turn the electrical crank. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Eating up. So you then throw pearl the food. You, you just repeat this process all the way until you get the the drill done. but it is not mine. Stroke the fire. <laughs> this is real simple when you think about it. I get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. They're <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie though, the arguments with hey, Emmett and his father. By lightning. Would that make you happy? Emmett and his father, <laughs> that's kind of just funny too at the same time. Uh, halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. <laughs> Keep up the good work. All right, so we we just keep doing this process. Getting so hot under the collar, Pop. 
pressure? <laughs> you don't know anything about pressure. <laughs> Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Some bronze have been officers of the court since God's <laughs> heavenly spark first gave rise to man in it. Oh, spark, spark, spark. Eating you, Father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Okay, food. You gotta be quick now. Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! Ah, right, right. Words he's emphasizing mean you gotta focus on Emmett's words particular. Your ancestors are spinning in their brain. No, 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 no! That's not what I wanted to click on! What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? No one, father! All right, come on. Let's do this right this time. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. You didn't mind it. Lawyers are nothing but a bunch of hot air. There we go. Or no. Just pay attention to what I say. All right. There we go. <laughs> just gotta keep on doing things right, and I'm just screwing it up. Don't you have a release? on your mouth somewhere don't release bridges so cavalierly my son there we go I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top all right then we turn this up I mean his father's also saying words too but you don't like my performance at the courthouse then fire me ah come on fire fire the ducks father I'll be feeding you in that school of yours and then the food there we go it's getting faster and faster, so you gotta keep it up. Lawyers are nothing but overblown bags of gas. What will it All right. to light a fire under your other His father's gonna try and throw you off. Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Here we go. And I am at your behavior. Almost there. Alright, here we go. We're getting it. Coming, father! Why are you always bellowing at me? Ah, where's the bellows? Bellows, bellows! Rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? And then the rotations crank. What use is a microorganism for long? There is a flame inside me. Alright, come on, we gotta move fast. We gotta move fast. Faster, faster, faster. Move around the speed of sound. No idea what kind of pressure I'm under. You this may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Oh boy! This is getting quick. This is getting quick. This is so getting quick. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm. <laughs> wow. You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Here we go. Do I get a turn to talk, or is this going to be another monologue? No, 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 no! Ah. I was so close, too. I felt it that time. I thought you were a scientist. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pops. My soup's about to boil over. What? Hey, oh, all right. Oh, Finally. Woo. Are you okay? Uh, you and your dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We. No. Oh. Oh, what? <sighs> Oh, come on, man. Come on. You can do it. Eureka. Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and, and I can... I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Um, you can expect to hear it back in about a month to six weeks. That seems about right. Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the Patent Office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's uh, somebody who's in big trouble. Uh, someone very important to me, to, to both of us. Uh, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Man. The, the kind of feels, man. Keep the throttle at about eight. Ah. You're all right, Emmett. You're all right. And he surely will go on to do some great things as an inventor. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Alright. Come on, start! Whoa, this thing definitely is rocket-powered. How about that? Wow, did that newspaper just literally ruin the whole thing? You're too late! Too late? The doc's not supposed to be... Doc! They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping! Oh! I better go get a quote from the police chief! Hmm... That newspaper... Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. And they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? Uh, come on. Jet hmm. drilling remains. At least the rocket part came out of this in one piece. Hmm. And we got the bicycle too. How about we combine them both? I'm sure Edna wouldn't mind. <laughs> she can always get another one with her uh, salary. Boom! Right, I'm coming, Doc. Woohoo! I totally would want something like that. That looks cool. Really, for real. Even though I've never really taken up riding bicycles that much in real life, but I wouldn't mind riding a rock powered one just for fun. Anyway, we're going back here. We're gonna chase Doc down and see if we can finally rescue him. Rescue time! You're still in danger, Doc. We've got to get you out of here. Oh, stop! I said it's 
said, you're still in danger. Never mind, never mind. Get me out of here. <laughs> That's what he was trying to say. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Who's in the front window? Oh my gosh, it's him. What's he doing here? Keys. Keys. Uh, uh, go back. Let's see here. We gotta get rid of this thing here, I guess. Okay. Hmm, I wonder. Let's see. Can we do something with the uh, drill or no? Okay. Hmm, wait, wait, wait. I got an idea. I got an idea. The antenna. In a toolbox? What's down here? Aha! Is there anything else? Well, okay, it's just more of the same thing. Come on, we gotta do this! We can rescue Doc! We totally can! Okay, we're gonna need something from the inventory. Uh, tire iron, right? There we go. Keys. How do I get them? I think I might have an idea. Let's get use this antenna. Why not? But we can't let Kid Tana know. Shoot. Uh, Doc! Is there a way we can talk to Doc? Uh, okay. Keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. The protection of pertinence! What? A reach extender! Can you give me a distraction, Doc? Uh, he actually is trying to, funny enough. Not quick enough. Let's try and your tone voice, and I find the seat distinctly uncomfortable. You have a pillow I can sit on. Hey, I'm talking to you, driver. Don't ignore me, you! Ah! Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the street. How did you <laughs> I have my sources. Alright, now let's get back to those doors and set Doc free, finally. Here we go, we got the keys. The key to, to Doc. Uh, the to doors, yeah. <laughs> uh, Whoa! Oh. oh, geez. That's not good. How you doing, Doc? Uh, okay. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? The hubcap, maybe? Where are you? Ow! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Now let's get that gun. Perhaps maybe that could help us.
Uh, the shackles. Okay, we need to get rid of the shackles, and the gun's probably the perfect thing to do it with. Hit hit it, Doc, hit it. Whoa, the screen kind of slowed down for a second there. <laughs> Literally. Doc, are you okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Ooh. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? We can go back! Back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? Uh-oh. No, I, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Oh, yeah! Stop! That is definitely a big, big problem. Wow! And that, my friends, is the end of episode one to Back to the Future, the game. So yeah, here's a preview of what's to come. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. So we'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Cannon says it's over! To be continued in Back to the Future, the game. Get Tannen! February 2010. Yeah, <laughs> this came out five years ago. How about that? Wow. What a difference so many years over time makes. <laughs> This was this game originally came out to celebrate the 25th anniversary of, of the movie franchise, which is pretty cool. <laughs> and it, now I'm playing it five years later to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the franchise. It's a whole bunch of anniversaries going on with this. This is pretty just... I don't know. This game's still... Uh, blah, blah. I cannot talk right now, can I? <laughs> Anywho, I was saying that, you know, this episode was pre pretty um, interesting way to start things off so far. But we're not done with this game yet, so I'm not offering full final thoughts. So next time on Back to the Future the Game, I will be starting Episode 2, Get Tannin. <laughs> and, well... <laughs> If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. Also, be sure to share this out with other Back to the Future fanatics who'd be interested in seeing a new story. And also, be sure to subscribe to see Episode 2 and further episodes when they begin. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching this, and stay classy! Bye-bye!